had a, you had yeah. a one night stand with someone's dad? Yeah. <laughs> my hands are sweating. My hands are sweating. Please keep that as a house. Oh, you make me hugs, but none of the right way. I was like, oh, oh. So welcome to another episode of the Andy Lee Show. And today we have our special guests, Ginger Gavin and the absolute gorgeous Kayla Wild. Hiya. So Kayla was an absolute sensation last month. She was the most viral girl on the internet in the UK. I was, you thank are. you. Impressive. So Kayla, why were you the most viral girl in the UK? Well, <laughs> yeah, but just look how you dressed. Yeah, it was kind of this. I kind of <laughs> given it away today. <laughs> so tell us a bit more about it. So I was Officer Wild, as you may know, and I've been up and down the country apparently on everyone's WhatsApp group. <laughs> what made you two think that that was the thing to do? Uh, so, well, first of all, I seen a newspaper article mm. uh, about. Uh, a video that happened in HMP Wandsworth and I just thought to myself that is hot but I can do it better mm -hmm. so that inspired me then to make my own video my own version of it I said to Kayla I said let's let's do do this video I said just trust me I promise you trust me uh, we'll do this video it'll be a short video we'll give it away for free film on snapchat and we'll put a little twist on it we'll send it out uh, and we'll make it look real and we literally filmed the video in about five minutes. Yeah. One, two takes it was, because yeah. we had to do some things. And uh, I sent it to a few of my mates. I said, look, let's put that in your WhatsApp groups. And that was it. And then literally it was dead like that, that we, we sent it out that day. And um, there was nothing, like didn't hear anything from it. And then the next day we were in the studio, I was filming TikToks and YouTube videos. And uh, ping, 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 ping. my phone was stuck on crazy. I was like, what's this? And uh, newspapers, bring it like, can we have your story? Uh, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And it was all about this prison video. So I, I, I called the journalist up, up and I just said, look, mate, this was just a bit of fun. It was only a parody. I said, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't supposed to be real. Yeah. And he, the journalist said, well, can we still have your story? And I said, yeah, of course. I then told them the story. And, and then they rang me too. <laughs> I saw that video in at least five different WhatsApp groups. Really? So it was... It was out there and it was yeah. out there quick. Um, on the back of the social stuff, how did people respond directly to you two? Did you have any mad requests or any messages off anybody or anything like that? Oh my God, tons. L literal hundreds. And the shocking thing was, was quite a chunk of them were from actual inmates. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. What type of requests? Well, literally, to like want to meet me, go on dates, offering me jewelry, cars, all sorts of material things. Yeah, to uh... actual prisoners. Yeah. Hundreds. Yeah. That's mad. I and know. What, did you reply to any of them? As you did. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, all the prisoners out there were uh, yeah. officer in uh, fetishes. <laughs> So yeah, and one part of the show is going to be uh, tell Andy a story. So, so story time at Andy Lee. Um, I have some already here. Let me read out some of the stories. Okay. So the first one is from Steve in Rotherham. Okay. I went on a Tinder date and it was going, it was going well. I was invited to stay over. During the night she was asleep and I let a cheeky fart out. <laughs> But to, my, <laughs> but, but to my horror, it was more than I expected. Oh, no. He shattered. No. That's what he's saying. <laughs> when she woke up, I asked her to make me a cup of tea, and I did a runner. I never messaged her again. I'm Steve, my surprised. friend. <laughs> We've all been there. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, no. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> nah, yeah. Steve, yeah, mate. Okay, I'm... I'm cancelling part two. Oh. <laughs> are you tell me you never had, you never squeezed one out and you. Oh. <laughs> My hands are sweating. My hands are sweating. Please keep that as a house. Oh, you make me hugs, but none of the red right way. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, how did it go so quick? Wait, My brain does not on. do that. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> I'll teach you a thing yeah. I'll do. Yeah, you will. Oh, right. Right, right let's... <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Let's go to the next one, right? Okay, it, no, I must be rich. Tony from Leeds. All right, Tony. I served the sentence in prison and ended up marrying one of the prison guards. Ooh. After my release, and we've been married now for six years. Is that even legal? I've, yeah. I've seen a story about this. I wonder if that's really? him. I've seen a story about really? this, I swear. I I've seen it on TikTok or something like this. I've seen this story about this prisoner and um, prison officer who was in a relationship in prison. They never done anything when they was when he the guy was in prison, but they they just it. built their relationship up. When he was released, they got married. I wonder if that's Tony. Oh. Tony, I think I've seen your story before. Yeah, get him to. Is that legal though? I don't know. know. I don't yeah. know if that's legal. It's, it's, there's nothing against it. No. You can marry who you want to marry. Yeah. As I said, he yeah. didn't love marry his love. Was in prison. He was love released. Love, love is love. Formed character. Nice one, Tony. <laughs> oh right. Who else have we got? We have Lee from Warrington. Right, Lee. I just got back from a lad's holiday to Vegas. Ooh. I've come home with one less eyebrow and a new tattoo. Do you have any crazy <laughs> holiday stories? It's like the hangover. I literally just came back from a last holiday in Benidorm. Yeah, Benidorm. That's but, got but around that's where it stories. stays. Me and, the, me and the lads made a deal that we will never talk about Did it. Did you? What happens in Benidorm stays in Benidorm. <gasps> you were us. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he was us. He's staying quiet. So you're not going to tell me anything? No. Well, oh my god! All right. Well, I I do have a crazy Vegas story. To be fair, that's kicked off my memory. So I must have been 21, and it was the days of BBM. Give it away my age now. Blackberry Messenger. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and I was driving through Chigwell, Essex, and back in the day, it was like this like place to be was like the King Will, and I went to text my cousin, but accidentally sent it to the first contact in my phone, so an A, and anyway, started chatting, he was like, do you want to come for a drink, I'm near the King Will, and I was like, oh, so am I, went in there, and then he literally said to me on the phone that night, so where do you want to go, Dubai or Vegas? And I thought I was getting, you know, like a whole punk situation, but I thought I'll roll with it and just see. I was like, well, don't mind either. I've not been to either place, you know? <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like young, I'm working in a restaurant at the time and all of that. And I was about to go to my shift. It was, I think, a couple of days later, maybe three days later. And he rings me again, what are you doing? Just about to go on my shift. Quick, go online. Um, do your visa thing, we're going to Vegas in three days, it's got to be done in that space of time. Bearing in mind, I used to drive a little Peugeot 206, and there I was, three days later, driving down to this, like, mansion, and I F off to Vegas with this fella who I was only really just met the odd few times out and about, and spent a week out there with, um... And yeah, didn't pay a penny. I bought a piece of pizza on the way home in the airport. Jesus, there you go. And was it a good holiday? It was, but he did uh, do the do with someone else while I was there. Yeah, and I swear this is a genuine true story. Her knickknocks were at the end of the bed. He left me in a club. I think it might have been towards the end of the holiday. And I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he gave me this big, huge, grandiose story. Like, honestly, it was insane. Saying he'd been sick, the security guards had chucked him out, all of this. Women's intuition, you know. You know. <laughs> Dodgy and sugar he daddy. Smelt, <laughs> it, there was a scent on him, you know? And then, yeah, so then we Sushi. Take, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that take us Sugar into the daddy smelt like sushi yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, wow. and there there was a pair of very tiny knickknocks at the end of the bed, and then that that solidified what I thought. I knew I could trust myself from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And have you been back to Vegas since? No, I will one day. Not yet. Right, we have Sarah from Southport. Okay, Sarah. Sarah said. I once dated a guy for six months. Mm -hmm. Things were going really well. Then he took me to meet his family and I realized that I had previously had a one night stand with his dad. Oh Go on. my God, Go on, Sarah. Go on the girl. <laughs> <laughs> what did he even say in that situation? <laughs> no, I've been in that situation. Stop. Really? I, I, Tell all. You had, you had a one night stand with someone's dad? Yeah. Ooh. Really? Yes, yeah, she, she was a barmaid at. Um, she? Oh. The daughter was oh. a barmaid in. And I was still young, so I was still. You were straight then? Uh, ish. <laughs> ish. Straight adjacent. <laughs> and, uh, Trying to do the normal. in yourself. Yeah, and it was. It, she took me home to introduce me to her dad. And 
I was like, I know you. Wow. What was his face like? Um, I think he was less shocked than I was. Really? <laughs> that must happen very often. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Wow. But in, in, in my early years when I was still undecided which side of the fence I was on. So yeah, yeah tell me, tell me, did you ever see her again? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I was never seen that again. <laughs> Weird, yeah. Like, weirdly enough, I actually went to a wedding. I, I, was, I was invited to a wedding. Oh, really? I there like that story. That's, that's mad. I don't know if I've ever... Like, uh, I've been on, I've, I went on like... Uh, you've probably been with everyone's mum and sister and everything when you've <laughs> got them in introduced. Two sisters, yeah. I'm and like, the brother also done his yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very easy going. Now, I don't really have very many wild stories like that. <laughs> that, that I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, Hugh God. Hugh Benadorm. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, what happens in Benadorm stays in Benadorm. <laughs> Kayla mentioned that she has never tried sushi. She mm. hates raw fish. So I thought it would be fun to get some sushi. Of course you did. With chopsticks. Thank you. And let's see how it goes. <laughs> Just make me look even better online. <laughs> Let me get the sushi. <laughs> right, so we're back with the sushi. So I had to go to Costco and pick the only sushi I could find around this area. Um, one is a vegan platter and the other one uh, is like sashimi type sushi. So What even is that? It's got raw. an half a whiff to it. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like fish. Hmm. It is quite a warm day. Fish and sausage. There's a sausage smell I'm getting as well. <laughs> I right. think it's that. How can it be that? That's fucking vegan. It looks sausagey. It's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> it right. does though. Right, this this here is wasabi. Have you ever tried wasabi? Oh. Right, let's try wasabi. I'll let you try it. It's right, so wasabi's like mint. Hey, look. You're right. It's like, no. just put on the chopstick, we'll put, uh, put it in your tongue. Yeah. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only like mint. It's not. Go on, it is. It's not. <laughs> 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 you have it. Oh. Jesus Christ. Spicy on it's like men's Where like did you get that from? I tried I don't the like lie. It. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wait. That was so funny. Right. What else have we got here? So we have pickled ginger and uh, where's the soy sauce? Here we go. Right. Oh my god, it's burning. Right, get all that all over there. So I don't actually know what flavours is here, but let's just go with it. Right, let's go with this one first, yeah? Oh. So. I'm shaking. You, you're a bit scared of raw fish. I'm scared of that thing you just gave me. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Times three. <laughs> right. So. Oh, look at you. You know how to do Well, I, I've gauged it a little bit. Because, yeah. So just pick it up and tilt it back. Tilt it back. And it's very raw. <laughs> mm. I can't pick it out. <laughs> uh, uh, should I just stab that? No. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Girl, I'm shaking. Now give her a fork. Oh, I can't. Should I just, Go. should I take that? Do it. Do it. Go. It's only salmon. <laughs> it reminds me of it. It's quite nice. <laughs> mm, fishy. I do like fish. <laughs> but I'm chat. Well what about, so, so you know when you eat... Oh, oh. Ha ha! I know, I know. Judge me. So you know, when you, eat, you, know when you eat prawns, do you eat, do you eat the end? I want that rice. No, you pull the tail off. Yeah. Did you not? Did I'm you eat the tail? Yeah. It's a bit crunchy though. You don't eat the tail? Um, Personal oh. preference. I, I imagine they're I'm all prepared. I don't imagine there's anything on there that you're not yeah, allowed to eat. You can't, um, you can't not miss do this. What on earth <laughs> are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm leaning in from a distance. What <laughs> on earth are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Oh, that was <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> 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 I never thought it would be so entertaining. That's I think not I'm only thing. not minding it because I'm really hungry. So, I just been to Japan last month. I went to Tokyo. Mm. And you know, I'm so used to this crappy sushi 
when I went to Japan, the, the sushi in Tokyo, my, my stomach wasn't able for it. Really? Yeah, all the raw fish and stuff, my stomach it was really weird. My stomach wasn't able for it. Did you shot on a date? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so when how, you said you related, didn't it? <laughs> it was so such a recent event. So you went to Japan. What was Japan like? Because you've travelled a fair bit. Yeah, so Japan, Japan's all right. Um, I just thought it was a bit expensive, but the, the, it was the nicest people I ever met in my life. So as far as destinations, where's your favourite place? <laughs> um, what? The title of... Just eating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Mm. So, where's your favourite place? Where's my favourite destination? Mm. For, for different reasons. I love Dubai because it's amazing. People are lovely, and you can get what you want. Um, Poland. Sorry. Pol <laughs> Say it against me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Poland is probably my favourite place I've been to in Europe. Okay. I love Krakow and Poland. But you know, it's like for me. For me, it's just travelling. I think the best people I ever met in my life are people who travel a lot. The more open to the world. Right, forget that. I'm stuck in my face. On to the vegan sushi. <laughs> uh, what about you, Kayla? What's your favourite holiday destination? Mm. I'm not massively <laughs> well-travelled, I would say, but... Braintree. Ah! <laughs> Canvey Island. No. <laughs> South End. No, um, cool. Mexico. Okay. Like Mexico. See, oh, I didn't I like really Mexico. I suppose my resort was really nice. But that's I it. Like New York. A lot of people, a lot of people love resorts. I'm not a big fan of resorts. I'm after this has made a big mess of this. Look. Yeah, look. I've been to Cancun and I've been to Tulum, mm -hmm. and just not for me. Just not my, no. not my type of holiday. I don't like the hippie vibe and. Oh, I love a hippie vibe. Yeah, a lot of people do. It's just not me. I'm looking at mess of it. So what do you want from a holiday? A, a sun and sand holiday or are you a tourist? I like a mixture of both. I'm a bit of a give me a mixture kind of gal. What on earth in the... That is... is that, it's like tofu or something, is it? It's vegan. Should we try it? Oh, you're brave. Yeah. Mm. Well, that doesn't make me want to try it. <laughs> but you're going to make me, aren't you? What is it? It's exactly how you would imagine vegan sushi. <laughs> <laughs> the man who's not into hippie vibe has just tried vegan sushi. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, I don't know. That is nasty. I can't even... I don't even know what that is. <sighs> I'm shaking. Look at the shape. <laughs> Look at that. That was nasty, wasn't it? Mm. I'm scared. I'm scared. At first I thought it was egg. I don't even want to Just, do you it. Shove it all in. <laughs> Tastes like wet toast. Something like that, I don't know. Should we try another one? Oh, it's not too bad. That oh, is okay. nasty. <laughs> that's not good. Right, that's mm. too bad. Mm -mm. mm -mm. It does taste like wet toast. Like it tastes like a foot. <laughs> None of them are too bad. I can take it. I know that. I can take it. And what's in this one? You know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... That one scares me. No, it's actually really nice. It's just that like uh, really vegetables me. or something. I'll take the wet toast. That would be nasty. I don't mind that. I thought it was quite sweet. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true story, yeah. <laughs> I'm eating I'm eating chocolate cake in bed. Mm. As you do. As you do, yeah. Watching Netflix eating chocolate cake I in bed. I am sweet. And I pick up a brown crumb off the bed. Oh, it's it, the sharp. It, it was, it was, <laughs> 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 uh, go on. I need to hear. <laughs> You still don't know what it was? No, I don't know what it was. Ugh. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Did you just, could you not smell it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you got tears in your eyes! You got high pitched! I feel like you do know, and you, you, you've just realised you've said this story on a channel, and now you don't want to complete it. Bro, eat the sushi, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Moral of the story don't eat strain browns lumps off your bed. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, I'm sweating. Eating in bed. Yeah. A yay or a nay? Yay or nay. 
Oh, so, yay. That depends on the, like, you never eat biscuits in bed. That's a big no-no for me. I uh, do. And, like with crumbs. I do. Dip it in me tea. Oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. You're nasty. Nasty. <laughs> you're nasty. tasteless. <laughs> oh, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the wet toast again. So, controversially, <sighs> eating in bed, massive no-no for me. Oh! But also, TVs in bedrooms, no. Oh! What? No. That's no. where it's single. I mean, well done, but... Like... Why? Because the bed's functional. You, you go to <laughs> it... It sure like, is. You go to it for, <laughs> for, for one thing, or to sleep. Okay. No, I got the bed to watch Netflix and fall yeah, asleep. Same. Yeah. Same. If I've got the TV on, crime. I can't fall asleep. Now, that's the difference. Scrolling through your phone and getting lost mm -hmm. in social media and mm -hmm. oh. having 10 minutes to chill out before you go to sleep and then realising at half past four in the morning you're still watching true crime. Yeah. You're still watching Andy Lee's TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all for TV in bed. I'd love to be one of them real health gurus that are like, no, give your retinas a break for half an hour before you fall asleep. <laughs> right. But I can't. <laughs> I self-soothe to true crime. And then I eat honey roasted cashew nuts, crisp carrots dip. Oh, no. Maybe a biscuit after that. Yeah. Mm. Mine is chocolate digestives. In bed. Mm. Chicago PD. Hours and hours of crime drama. That's what I'm all about. Now I'm going to start tasting wet toast. Do you actually like that? I actually, uh, that's my second one. That's nasty. Nasty. Like, nasty. It's not the most pleasant thing. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. Mouth. I'd rather enjoy it. Maybe this means I should turn vegan. You like meat too much. Yeah, I do. So, I put, so <laughs> the whole vegan thing, have you ever tried a vegan diet? Um, no. I gave certain things a go, but I did like the whole dairy free. I mean, I do try and be gluten free as much as possible, but I just haven't got the patience to make enough oh. tasty stuff to get me through. Because when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Eat. I yeah. love food. Yeah, so do I. I love food. I do. Sweet or savoury? Both. I love cake. I do love food. Yeah. I love pizza. Mm, you keep spraying. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm known for. <laughs> I am. Uh -huh. I can I'm call it car wash. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> half woman, half car wash. Uh. So, uh, we're trying to be professional here. I know, sorry. No, I'm not uh. sorry. <laughs> Can't even come and eat sushi in peace. Uh. I'm sweating. Uh. Right, so I think we'll wrap that up. Okay. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. You are ever so welcome. Thank <coughs> you for sticking your hot stuff in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you for tasting very fishy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>